My course on innovation and entrepreneurship is kind of unique. At Silicon Valley, at CMU Silicon Valley, we're very close to the phenomena, and so my view is that the students need to be exposed directly to the phenomena, not simply learn from books or videos or, or case studies how entrepreneurship actually occurs. So my view is to get the students as close to the coalface as possible and to try and um, intellectually bridge the knowing what to do with how to do it, the knowing doing gap, so to speak, so that they understand that the process of building a startup isn't perfect by any means. It's always painful and it gives them, I think, a foretaste of what's to come if they want to go into this startup uh, environment which Silicon Valley does so very well. Gather is one of the startups we worked with as part of our innovation lab. And we did initial trials in Dubai. And now it's really exciting to see the level of work that they've been able to do. So hello everyone, I'm Sankal Barora. So we Not too long ago, rather just a couple of years ago, I was sitting where you're sitting and uh, trying to understand on on how to create impact and value through entrepreneurship. Uh, I'm a chief robotics engineer and co-founder here at Gather AI. Uh, before this, the, the way I got to know Stuart and to attend this class and had the pleasure of that was, I was a PhD student at Carnegie Mellon in Robotics Institute. It's a pleasure to meet you all. My name is Sean Mitchell. Um, as St. Cal mentioned, I'm the head of customer success here at Gather AI. I'm very, very excited to be part of kind of this, you know, this, this new team as we're bringing this technology out. And, and definitely, I think Stuart and I have, have had a, you know, have had a great history. You know, Stuart, Stuart is a, is a very close friend. Um, he's been my mentor for a number of years and, and is actually the reason that St. Calp and I got connected. Our beachhead is inventory monitoring and asset tracking. The way they do inventory is people with uh, barcode scanners, in some extreme cases, pen and paper, going up there, climbing these racks on, on forklifts and, and scanning what's sitting there. This was the first question that came to my mind as well, that shouldn't we automate this? So that is what we do. We make this process, which takes eight to 40 hours and make it near real time through a fleet of autonomous drones. Our drones are completely off the shelf. We ride the autonomy. There is a little drone flying Believe it or not, drones are silent in warehouses. Warehouses are very noisy. Now they self-charge. They deploy at a press of a button. And I'm always a believer that any good solution works like magic. But before we, we got to this point, we were grad students taking courses at CMU and working on things like the world's first full-scale autonomous helicopter. So that's when I attended Stuart's course, Innovation uh, and Entrepreneurship, both part one and part two. Through that course, what was made repeatedly clear is we can live in a bubble of technology, but it has to solve real world problems. This solves an urgent problem and solves it in a, in a fashion that makes complete business sense. And, and drones can do it. We found our investors uh, at the SWAT center at CMU. So we were just entrenched in the CMU ecosystem. And CMU in fact was the first investor in our company. And with those two and a half million dollars, we, we started making the solution, started making autonomous drones. We were desperate enough that we picked up a pivot in our product and that has now led to a niche that we are addressing and a unique uh, product that we are developing, which is volumetric measurements for air cargo. We started to look at, you know, what can we do to make this work? Um, and, and one customer who came back to us 
uh, with a very different value proposition was Donata. Um, was the was the ground handling was the cargo arm of Emirates Airlines. It's been a good experience working with the team at Gather, and they've really stepped up to the challenge in really understanding what our pain points are. Uh, work with our teams in trying out new ways of solving uh, the challenges that we put forth. The adaption of cutting-edge drone technology to measure, monitor, and track inventory will truly revolutionize the way we do business. We are not the first ones to say we'll do inventory monitoring by drones, but we are the first ones to execute and have our drones in the field doing thousands of flights every month doing inventory monitoring. So what we are doing today is providing 24 seven live inventory management and tracking and to scale and to go to yards and ports. Even when COVID hit, it looked like the world was coming to an end after that big contract went, you stuck with it. <clears throat> you didn't, uh, you know, you didn't flinch. And, and you discovered this, this niche with Denard. I just want to ask the class to put their hands together and say a wonderful thank you for your great job.